So good morning YouTube. Today would be a great day to share with you guys what type of food we eat in a day here in the Netherlands. I'm going to do two versions of it, so I'll do a South African version and I'll do a Netherlands version of it. And starting off the day, turning the coffee machine on, always make myself a flat white first thing in the day. If you guys could uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel uh, as well as like this video, that would be epic. Sometimes I set my coffee machine on auto timer so when I wake up in the morning the coffee is going to be made immediately. Then we head to make some breakfast. See if I've got any latte art in me this morning. Usually I don't have any latte art in me, so um, it's okay. It's not bad. It'll do. Mm -hmm. It'll do today. I'm happy with it. Now time for some breakfast. What's your breakfast, Rach? Um. Well, we start with some fruit and suikerbrood. You can explain more of this. Some sugar bread <laughs> and some fruit. And well, either yogurt and muesli or some. Oats or porridge. I don't like bread for breakfast. You know. No, I'm not a I'm not a bread fan for breakfast either. No. I keep on asking you what's for breakfast and what's for dinner and what's for whatever. But <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> Just there we have pear, which is nice and soft. I like the hard pears. You like the soft pears. And two little pears and mandarins. Mandarins, and I think I'm gonna have some yogurt and muesli. What you having? Mm, I don't know if we have enough milk, so I might, uh, might also go yogurt and muesli this morning. <laughs> I don't even know if we actually have yogurt left. Let's have a look. <laughs> so seeing it's a day in the life of what we eat, I'll show you guys our little mini fridge. It's not very impressive, I'll tell you that much. Um, so we've got some yeah, we've got some butter. That's empty. We've got a, a can of Red Bull, pear edition, because yeah, we like fruit. We've got a beer. Which has been in the and we've time. got some sweet chili sauce. That's some cheese. There's some good morning, some type of yogurt drink. Tiny little bit of lemon frisk water left. So we are leaving South Africa, so the fridge is empty. It's my new already coffee mugs. These are available on my store, uh, on my store tab on this YouTube channel. So if you guys can go ahead and go and look at the store tab and check them out if you want. There's not much music left either. <laughs> Making tea. Done. Look at that. Wow. Look at this pour. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful coffee pour, Rach. It is amazing, don't you think so? Well, and this is really overexposed. <laughs> this is Rachel Klamas coffee. Rachel Klamas not a coffee drinker. Even though I bought this coffee machine for like three and a half grand. Um, she I think I had one sip. <laughs> Hers no, is the Dutch version. I know definitely more about coffee than I ever drank one. Yeah, I agree. I think triathletes in general, male or female, know a lot about coffee. Even if they don't drink coffee. And this is called Sekebrot. It's like sugar bread and it tastes really good. And I think it's only in the Netherlands. And we put butter on it because it needs extra butter. Because we're in the Netherlands. It's margarine. Our favorite muesli. Or if anyone would want to sponsor our muesli, we go through how many bags a week? Maybe 10 bags of muesli, maybe. A lot. <laughs> maybe, yeah, 5 to 10 bags. This one is nice. This is from Lidl and it's our favorite. And it's like and two it's and a half expensive. euros. And we Almost don't like three. spending two and a half euros because in the Netherlands here we like to try and get everything on discount because that's really, really important for almost everything to be on discount. So this is the best muesli. If you're, if you're in Europe and you're in a Lidl, go and buy this muesli and tell them that we told you to go there and buy it. And it's not a sponsored ad, we wish. And this is not sponsored by Crownfield. <laughs> we wish. <laughs> but Crownfield can sponsor us if they like. <laughs> and look how many different nuts and seeds and things there are. It's not just like that boring muesli. This is, this is the, oh, look at those raisins and almonds. You see who gets the big bowl? Yeah, I get the big, I always get the big bowl and Rachel gets the smaller bowl. Because <laughs> I'm just bigger. Right. And now we're going to have breakfast. So 
Until lunchtime. Tally ho. <laughs> My tea is still too hot. My coffee is not cold because I took way too long to set the stuff up. So we always buy this yogurt because Sven Kramer is on uh, the back of it and he's Olympic champion and we think if we drink this yogurt, who knows? We could become Olympic champions. Campina supports athletes, which is good. So our morning's nutrition uh, sometimes changes a little bit depending if we're running first in the morning uh, or if we're cycling first or if we're swimming first. It kind of changes on kind of what we're doing with the first session of the day. Uh, sometimes we'll go for a run and we'll just, I'll just have a cup of coffee and just a piece of fruit um, and then we'll do a run if it's anywhere up to about an hour and if we go longer than that, then I'll have some, probably some oats or yogurt and muesli like we did today. After that, we have some lunch. I'll try and fill up with some proteins and more carbs uh, just after the run session or the first session, just to kind of replace the glycogen uh, in my legs to kind of refuel myself for the session that comes up just after breakfast. So in the morning, just to have a little bit of sugar and coffee is kind of all that I need to do the first session. I'll kind of run off the carbs sometimes from the night before. So if we have a big dinner with a lot of carbs, usually the first session in the day, uh, I'm fine to be able to, to go out and train. So after having finished breakfast, I've uh, just got changed and we have bike ride coming up. Let's go through the sports nutrition that I use usually for my training. So for the bike ride now, we're going probably about two to two and a half hours of riding. My supplement of choice is SIS from the UK. Uh, it's batch tested products uh, for any like banned substances. So for me, that's really important to know that the sports nutrition that I'm using has been tested. So there's no banned substances or drugs in the stuff that I use, which is great. Ahead and uses Tropical Electro Go, which has got some carbohydrates and some sugars in it. Not too much sugar. I find this works great if I do a ride anything more than probably an hour and a half towards two hours that I'll definitely have some of this in a bottle and I'll put a, another bottle of water just with me on the bike to make sure I've got enough hydration on the bike. Another thing I'll use as well is bars from SIS. Their bars are really good. So if I'm out there and I didn't have enough breakfast on the day, I'll bring a bar with just in case and eat it kind of before I start getting hungry just for the next session to make sure I don't you know, run out of glycogen or run out of energy. I'm always topped up on my fuel and make sure that I have enough energy for the next training session so that I don't bonk, really important. Onto gel, I can have kind of three of these in a two hour race, no stomach problems. That's kind of on the nutritional side, what I'll do. A lot of people ask me about Red Bull, if I even drink Red Bull. Open this here, yeah, can of Red Bull. I use Red Bull is when I come back from a long training session, usually on the weekend, in the middle of the day or towards the end of the day. I drink a little bit, kind of half the can, put the other part in the fridge, finish my training session, come back. I'll be pretty wrecked by that point, so I'll finish the rest of the can that I had chilling in the fridge. As well, after drinking Red Bull, I'll have some electrolytes and some water afterwards, so I stay hydrated. I drink probably one to two cans of Red Bull a week. Great thing to keep me going, It'll give me wings kind of during the week to make sure that I get all my training done. Cheers. Yeah. You have to do an English race because the fans don't understand Dutch. Well, some of them understand Dutch. If you understand this in Dutch, give us a thumbs up. Hey. Lunch time. What's for lunch, Rach? Seeing that I did this for breakfast bread, already. Bread, bread, and bread. <laughs> So a typical Dutch lunch is bread. Sometimes we put bread on top of the bread and we have double bread. And we have some nice condiments. The cheese is really good. My favorite is the kip curry, which they didn't have today at the Lidl, unfortunately, oh. which is, I no. almost cried because I wanted to get it for the video and it no, wasn't no, any. The, um, the, the saute sauce. The kip Oh yeah. Chicken. I mean the kip satay, not the kip curry. They ah. actually had the kip, they had the kip curry actually, but it's got pineapple and I don't like pineapple with my chicken. Because uh, that's kind of weird. It's like a pineapple on your pizza, not a fan. Um, so yeah, we're going to have bread, some peanut butter, some Nutella. They've got the cheaper version of the Nutella because Nutella is like five euros for a potia or a... I don't even know what it is in English anymore. A jar? I'm going to struggle when I'm in South Africa. I'm not going to be able to speak English. They're going to think I am come from some weird... Where do you come from? Yeah. <laughs> Afrikaans is very it's weird. a jar. A jar. There we go. This potato salad is my favorite. This one is without the meat, is it? This is without meat. This is a vegetarian potato salad because 
It's Monday, so we're going meatless Monday today. And these are like Uli balls. I was gonna buy Uli ball and to put them in the video, but I didn't, so that's life. But these are like Uli ball. They're from Lidl, they're cheaper as well. Uh, and they probably have less oil in. Not, probably not, <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea. They're between raisin bread and Uli ball. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty fat, much. Fat cookies for the person who wants to know what Uli ball is. So this is kind of a mixture of vegetables and potato salad all together and we put it on bread and it it tastes great. And they are probably And I made. think there's a lot of mayonnaise on this and it actually makes yeah, you fat so I wouldn't see. say that it's oh. the healthiest option. Oh. I wouldn't say it's How maybe? many grams per hundred? Grams of fat per hundred? Uh, 14. 6.7. 6 6.7 grams of fat per it's hundred. It's actually not that bad. It's not so bad, so maybe they went for the light mayo. I would say that our nutrition is probably not the best <laughs> in the entire world. So don't uh, go and think that we're doing everything super gourmet and perfect like other people do on YouTube. They're trying to make things way over fancy. This is very typical. We have bread for lunch almost every day. I think some days Rachel has rice crackers when she gets sick of bread. Yeah, or I'll have some leftovers. I'm not a big fan of bread, actually. No, I could pretty much <laughs> eat, be, eat dinner for food. lunch almost every day. We'll have the video of what we eat in South Africa as well, which should be very different to the Netherlands. Well, breakfast and dinner should be similar, but lunch... Actually, I'll say. I think, yeah, wait, take that back. It's probably all pretty <laughs> similar, but it's just different. It'll be different, don't worry, we'll make it different. That looks so good. I think I might put some, maybe some pepper on top of it. You know? Mm, okay, I'll have that too. Yeah. Meatless Monday's out. <laughs> it's got no meat. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 4% here. Look at this. What the hell? They lied to us. So I decided to put some cheese on it as well. Three, two, one, sell me fruit. Every day, I eat two pieces of fruit. <laughs> So this is a little vegetable garden. Well, it's actually not our vegetable garden. It's kind of Rachel's brother and her dad's. Oh. They're mini capsicums. And it's time to get some vegetables. Do I need a spade? <laughs> I probably need a spade. <laughs> yes. You don't usually need one. Since when do you need a spade to get a carrot out? Wow. Well, look, look at this thing. Yeah, I know that thing's serious. <laughs> Yay. I think you need a bigger spade. My goodness. <laughs> hey! Whoa! <laughs> now that is a serious carrot. <laughs> Sandy. Okay, number one. Oh, <laughs> oh that one. No. Not a nice one. It's always a surprise what type of carrot you get out of it. Look at this thing. One. It's twins, Basil. <laughs> it's triplets. Jack, it's triplets. going to make lots of potatoes. So what's for dinner, Reg? Wortelstampot. <laughs> it's um, mashed potatoes and mashed carrots and there's onions and make some... Is it gravy? Do you call it gravy? Uh, yeah, gravy. And maybe some sausage or some like ham, like a big ham. We've got a type of massive ham, but... We'll make dinner for two days, so we'll make one night with a big ham and one night with sausage and it's a typical, typical Dutch sausage. Okay, it's called Stampot. Yep, Wachtel Stampot, this version. No, wait, I didn't wash it. Ik weet niet, ja, of moet ik meer wachten op de tuin te halen? Zo, ik denk dat And now all the vegetables have been put together with the potatoes, some onions thrown in there. What else are you making? Oops. Oh. <laughs> Jus. Gravy. Gravy? Yeah. Just, uh, Gravy. Yeah. So I'm going to guess the nutritional content of tonight's dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna say, so there's quite a lot of carbohydrates in tonight's dinner with the potatoes. The potatoes are good. Vegetables, quite a bit of vegetables, some onions. Onions are also good for like a natural anti-inflammatory, so do love my onions. 
and we're having worst or sausage with Stumpot tonight. We've got to get the sausage out. Nothing like a German sausage. That sounds dodgy. Um, with, uh, <laughs> with our mashed potatoes and vegetables. And these lights are very moody. An extra magere rookworst. That means an extra light fat smoked sausage. Hey, good sir. Nutritional content side of things, and this is quite like a carb heavy type of dinner. But as professional athletes and as triathletes, you've got to fill up on your carbs after a hard day of training. We didn't do a hard day of training today, but uh, filling up on the carbs anyway. And so now apparently you've got to do you got to do this on the floor, so I'm going to put the pot on the well, floor. You don't have to, but I'm making it easier for you. Goodbye. For me, mashing some potatoes. I bet you've never seen somebody mashing potatoes on the floor in a YouTube video before. This is, is this Come on, Rich, is that it? This is designed. Is all you have. Ah! Yeah, it doesn't need to be all over the floor. <laughs> mashed potatoes on a bulk scale here. We got four kilos of potatoes. I'm gonna guess probably 800 grams of carrots, maybe a kilo. I at least almost we don't have enough veggies. I... Oh, food. oh, sausage. There. Fuck. Turn my body. Yeah. <laughs> Robin's busy hiding out the shot. I'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, dinner. Oh, 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 oh it's, it's a good texture. Oh, it's a, it's good a good that. texture. Hey, too much. Oh, oh the it, it tastes better than what it looks like. <laughs> oh, sausages. So, that was uh, what we eat in a day video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna finish this off and then some dessert up next because you always have to have dessert after dinner. What's for dessert, Reg? Um, I'm still trying to make things up. It's uh, cinnamon and vanilla cake. And then we're gonna make some semi caramelized apple. Where it's like a tough cream filling. Sounds good. Some fancy. So fancy so we do this every day. <laughs> I always help with cooking. Always lick off for the knives and forks and spoons. That's why you're very helpful. I'm quite helpful. As long as I hope you enjoyed this video of what we eat in a day here in the Netherlands. If you can go ahead and give it the thumbs up, that would be awesome. And subscribe for future videos.